loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the reading that I see and feel for my Aries sun, rising, and moon signs. It is strictly intuitive, and for those of you guys who are new to the YouTube channel, the reason why I'm doing this right now is because every week I post on my I'm sorry, I just got distracted, but every week I post on my YouTube channel um, astrological predictions, what it is I'm seeing in the stars in the cosmos, and for the sake of me just not repeating myself, I'm going to give you guys the best when it comes to my intuitive readings for the month of October and allow it to guide you for, again, the month of October. So the cards that I have pulled here are right here for you. I do not know what these cards are, I have not seen them, but I'm going to be sharing the, well, now I just saw, I just looked, I, I took a little tiny peek, but I'm going to show, share with you what it is that I'm seeing and what it is that I'm feeling, and hopefully it resonates for you. And that's, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I am seeing, and I'm going to start with the bottom because I saw that one first, is the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups. I see free yourself, compassion, if they loved you once, if they once loved you, they still do. We see fertility inner wisdom, divine timing. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Mother, wife, sister, daughter, birth, rebirth, road runner, keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously and encouragement. Now give me just a second, Aries, because there's a lot of energy going on here and it is a little bothersome to me for the month of October, but I feel like it's everything happens as it should divinely. The first thing that I want to say to you guys, my Aries people, is that intuitively you really truly know mm, there's a lot that's coming through. The word is potential. Potential just came through. Sometimes we end we put ourselves in in a place where the potential is what has the biggest grip on us. The potential is something that it could be, but it isn't. The, that is what potential is, is that you are hoping that it will get to this point. You are hoping that it will happen. You will hope it, you're hoping that it will manifest, that it will evolve, that this will turn into something other than what it is. But it is what it is. And that's what I'm seeing here, is that the word potential is now your pitfall because you are waiting and hoping that this situation, this thing, whatever this is, is going to evolve and intuitively your sense has been that that answer is probably a resounding no. That's not to say that it can't grow because with cards like the fertility and birth and rebirth and divine timing and encouragement that, you know, it's not to say that it can't happen. Maybe it could, maybe it won't. But with inner wisdom, you have to at least know that relying on potential alone and exclusively is not enough. And it's when you free yourself from certain situations, remember, free yourself. When you remove yourself from certain uh, situations, when you realize and are guided to leave an unhealthy situation, because that's what this card is saying, is that it's time to leave this unhealthy situation and the encouragement that you need to feel that is when you give that thing the space, the time for divine timing to work so that it can evolve, so that it can change. In the meantime, I, I wanna tell you that when you do decide to free yourself, when you do decide to leave, when you feel called to with divine timing, don't walk into the future still holding on to this idea of, well, potentially maybe because of this reading with Jess, that this is going to be reborn again into something new because there's 50% of you that are not going to have that outcome. <laughs> what's being reborn and what's being birthed new is actually you because you are not stuck in this space of potential. And I also think that potential, I've always had an issue with this word, potential is sometimes it's like, okay, I can see that you know, like for this, this card, if they loved you once, they still do. So there's just enough to seed it, but it's not enough to grow and to be strong, right? So instead of you staying in a situation 
that is, and you sitting there like this, waiting, hoping that you're gonna get, you know, the potential is on the horizon, when a lot of you is guiding you, especially this little owl of wisdom here saying like, look, see it for what it is. A lot of you is guiding you to move forward and to be there for yourself or to be, you know, um, give yourself a chance because there's more, like, it, was it Beyonce that said, it's like, well, if I'm gonna choose to gamble on anyone, I'm gonna gamble on myself because at least I, I know that like, I'm counting on myself. That's what it is I'm seeing. So you give that the chance. So if you do decide to leave this unhealthy situation, you are, don't walk away from this unhealthy situation. It seems like you're like on the outside. You could, you know, make, be making these moves. Maybe you're literally leaving an unhealthy situation. Maybe you're leaving a job. Maybe you're unfollowing your ex or breaking up with your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend. And that's on the external, but internally, you're still thinking about them. You're checking their Instagram. You're showing up to work. You're taking on the responsibilities of your friends or putting up with their bullshit or enabling toxic behavior. So it seems like on the outside that you've made these changes or that Aries, that you're starting free, you're starting fresh. Well, if you're taking the same, you know, the potential of like the hope with you, you're just taking, you're just moving one thing to the next. You're moving, one of the other readings said the same thing. I can't remember, maybe it was the one before. I can't remember. Um, no, it wasn't Pisces, it might be Aquarius. Yeah, I think it was Aquarius. But you wanna make sure that as you're moving forward that you are giving yourself a chance to start something brand new, start something fresh, this new cycle within your life. When I see this card, if they love you, if they once loved you, they still do. I really am seeing this almost as a warning. Hear me out on this because I feel like, again, it's like if they love me once, then that means they still do, like that doesn't just go away. Or if they saw the value in me one time, then they still do, that doesn't go away. Again, you're back in potential. You're here left waiting. So it's like, yeah, maybe they do love you or maybe this they do see the value in you, but they're not giving you what it is that you want and or it's not healthy. Or maybe sometimes love is not enough. So you need a little bit of encouragement or may, may, you need encouragement, but also you moving forward is going to give yourself a chance to start a new beginning, get a new project, a new idea, a new birth to some new situation. And that's what's being rebirth, re reborn here for certain. I can say that with clarity. Now, let's say you are in a relationship or you're in a space with a friendship or whoever or whatever this is that you are, you have been waiting for the potential. You have been waiting for the promise that they've, that you've been hoping will be delivered. Well, that's the other thing is that you leaving this unhealthy situation and you freeing yourself of it and you removing yourself from it with divine timing is going to help that thing that you're walking away from to evolve and become better and to maybe potentially, potential, be reborn just as you are. And maybe you guys will come together again. But right now, when I'm seeing the Three of Cups and I'm seeing encouragement and I'm seeing the Roadrunner, the, literally the Roadrunner is known for hitting the road and going fast. <laughs> fast. <laughs> you can't say fast, it's fast. So, I mean, the Roadrunner is on the go. He's like, pew. You know what I mean? Out. He's leaving an unhealthy situation. You wanna know why? Because you're not gonna catch him. You are not gonna catch the Roadrunner. No, no ma'am. So when I'm seeing the encouragement card and I'm seeing the Three of Cups, I actually see celebration of this new cycle, this new birth. Ugh, oh, look, birth. I forgot that that was there, this new birth. Birth, rebirth. And then fertility. It is the biggest act of compassion and love sometimes to leave certain things, certain people, and giving them space and time to evolve into their highest self, and also to give yourself time to evolve into your highest self. And I think that you need discernment, but I also think that you have known for quite some time exactly what it is that you need to do. And now is the time to do it. In the month of October, Aries, you are leaving an unhealthy situation and it is going to be reborn new. For some of you guys, it's actually tied to the mother, the wife, the sister, the daughter. 
because this feminine energy is here. But I'm seeing that for some women, I'm actually seeing you evolving. I really feel that, like that just hit a chord. If you have been a girlfriend and you wanna be a wife, it will evolve. If you have been a wife and you're trying to be a mother, it, that's, what's, that's what's being born, that's what's happening, that's what's the fertility. It's this new, this, if you have been wanting new energy, if you've been wanting, let's say if you're dating and you want that next level in a relationship, you don't want juvenile, you want mature. Let's say you are, you've been a coworker um, or an employee, well now you wanna be a boss. It's like I'm seeing this evolution from one thing to the next. That is what women are, that's feminine energy. It's all about this growth, it's effortless. That's what we're celebrating. That's what we're, is being encouraged here. It's something that you've been waiting on, something that you've been waiting for, but it just won't be in an unhealthy, that growth will not happen in an unhealthy situation. Everything around you, the universe is so compassionate to you. The universe is very compassionate with you and very loving with you because they want to give you the desires of your heart. God wants to give you the desires of your heart, but not out of divine timing. And a part of the divine timing is, okay, I'm going to, like the universe sometimes draws that bow and arrow back, but the universe says, don't let go of that bow until that person is out of that unhealthy situation. Because if they get hit by this arrow right now, they're gonna stay in that unhealthy situation and then add on to it all of these things. They're gonna build a life on a situation that they don't need to be in. So remove yourself from this toxic thing, remove yourself, free yourself from this space so that when we do decide with divine timing and with compassion, this is for your best interest. This is because we freaking love you. So when we do let go of this arrow and it hits you, you are going to be free of the toxicity and begin to build on solid ground, to begin to build in a relationship that is loving, that is supportive of you. Maybe it is with a person that has been a part of your past past Aries and something about them now, something about the opportunity with the divine timing, something about this is, is you know that it's time for you to leave this unhealthy situation, meaning like this old mindset that you've had, this old lifestyle that you've had, and it's time for you to evolve. So you're going to free yourself from the past. You're gonna free yourself from being immature. You're gonna free, your, free yourself from you know, expecting the worst for yourself. And you're gonna rise up. And you're gonna start, that's gonna be a part of you freeing yourself from the burdens that you've been carrying in the past. Maybe you have been the unhealthy situation and you not allowing yourself to have the support of a wife, a mother, a sister, a daughter, or you not having a strong, fertile, um, mature, abundant presence in your life. Maybe there's been someone around you, but it's you that needed to free yourself from yourself. So maybe that is the potential, maybe that's the encouragement. And now you guys are hitting the ground running and that cycle is, you know, it ended and now there's just rebirth here that's happening for you. And it's all because, you know, the universe, again, I just, when I see this card, Compassion, I just see like, it's like, tell them, tell Aries how much you know, we are so, the universe, the God, the divine, whether you believe it or whether you don't, is so compassionate with you and loving with you that it seems like you've been punishing, like it seems like we've been punishing you. But in reality, it's almost you that's been punishing yourself because there's a blessing that we have for you. And you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about, Aries, when I'm saying this, because you internally feel it, you inter internally know it. I feel like I have to pull an additional card for you because I feel like some of you guys need it as much as Aries as the leader and don't let me take away from your personal power but I feel like some of you guys do need a little encouragement but your ego wouldn't allow you to admit that maybe yeah so we see protection we see move and we see dream so when I'm seeing this, I feel like this dream, this vision, it seems ethereal, it seems impossible, but it's, it's truly not. Um, the reason why it hasn't manifested before its time was for your own protection, again, because the universe is very uh, protective and compassionate with you. But now is the time, it's time for you to move out of an unhealthy situation or end an, unhealth, 
end a, a lifestyle. Maybe it's not that it's unhealthy, but it's just not serving you anymore. So you're laying that to rest and something is being born new. Something is being birthed into your life now. And it is evolving to the next level. And that's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course. Turn on your notifications. That way you're notified of videos as they come in. And I will see you in my next one.